Hi and welcome back to your MES e-lesson. I'm Natalie. By now, you should be able to answer questions negatively with CAN in a business setting fluently. Let's test your progress. There will be 10 questions in total. You will have a few seconds to answer each question. For example, can Tyler project when the launch of our website is going to happen? Then answer me like this. No, he can't project when the launch of our website is going to happen. Are you ready for your test? Good, let's get started. Number one. Can you find anyone in the advertising department that can code HTML? No, I can't find anyone in the advertising department that can code HTML. Number two. Can you fix this glitch in our programming software without the help of the computer tech guy? Now I can't fix this glitch in our programming software without the help of the computer tech guy. Number three. Can you fill in for Melissa when she goes on leave? No, I can't fill in for her when she goes on leave. Number four. Can you give me the heads up every time the boss pops his head into our department? Now I can't give you the heads up every time the boss pops his head into our department. Number five. Can you get together with Frank during your business trip to LA? No, I can't get together with him during my business trip to LA. Number six. Can you figure out who can pull the strings and get this project finalised? No, I can't figure out who can pull the strings and get this project finalised. Number seven. Can you believe our supervisor found someone to replace Jack in such a jiffy? No, I can't believe our supervisor found someone to replace him in such a jiffy. Number eight. Can you think of anyone who can balance common sense and business sense on an equal playing field? No, I can't think of anyone who can balance common sense and business sense on an equal playing field. Number nine. Can you delegate all the work to our newly recruited intern? No, I can't delegate all the work to our newly recruited intern.
Number 10. Can you see yourself working the same job for the rest of your life? No, I can't see myself working the same job for the rest of my life. So, how did you do? Did you get all 10 correct? If not, no problem. Allowing yourself to make mistakes is an important part of the learning process. Remember, it's about working at your own pace and speaking fluently. So just go back to video B and keep on practicing until you can say all 10 answers quickly and fluently. If you got all 10 correct, well done. Now it's time for you to move on to your next e-lesson. I'm Natalie, see you soon.